on wet nasty days like these this is one of the best items you can have stick around guys hey hey YouTube welcome back to Arabin Outdoors hey I'm Arabin but you knew that didn't you well today guys I'm smoking this pipe with some of this tobacco and I want to talk to you about something on a cold wet rainy day like this and the topic that I want to talk about has something to do with cold wet rainy days like this on a cold wet rainy day like this you need something that's going to help protect you from that cold wet rainy junk out there and the item that I'm going to share with you is something that has been around for probably hundreds and hundreds of years I don't know where it originated but based on the name of it I think I have an idea and uh, I purchased this many many years ago I mean probably 12 or 13 years ago and uh, it has been a great piece of gear in wet rainy nasty conditions and uh, it was a little expensive but well worth the money and it has well stood the test of time and It uh, kind of ties into this hat, what you would call this style of hat. You also call the item, the style of the item that I'm going to share with you. And uh, so let me go get it, and uh, I'll be right back. Stick around. Samuel Jackson, it's my beer. Yes, they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell. It's a tough world. These kids... Nearly got Munson, but they're back now. This is it, the item I'm talking about. It's an Outback Duster. And uh, step back so you can see it. It's full length. It goes about mid-calf. It is made out of a waxed material. Like a waxed canvas, it repels water like nobody's business, like a duck's back. And I tell you what, it's it's comfortable. You can see you have these right here, shoulder, because a lot of rain jackets that don't hold their weight and keep the water eventually right here where the rain comes down the most or will come off of your hat or what have you these areas tend to just get saturated so much that the material of the coat or jacket can't stay dry but when you've got these extra flaps on here and these are removable by the way one thing that's great about this is when you bend down if you need to get down on the ground to start a fire or do anything on the ground your legs are going to be dry your pants are going to stay dry because this thing is so long that you can bend down lean on your knees and be on the jacket so that it gets wet not you now these things are are warm as they are you can buy them with an extra layer of warmth with a sheep's wool inner lining I opted not to buy that because here in the area that I live that would just be too hot it doesn't get that cold in South Carolina so I chose to get the unlined version but as far as protection from the elements and water great it has on the side deep pockets with snaps everything snaps really well and strong it's got two big pockets there you have a drawstring 
on the inside so you can draw in the waste and uh, it works with a nice metal slider like that that locks in so you can cinch it tighter around the waist. You have a line of buttons on the inside. That button from the top pretty much all the way down. All the way down like that. Then you have another flap that goes across here that has buttons. And you can hear how they snap very securely. They're not going to come unsnapped. Don't worry about that. You can button this thing all the way up to the top and then even the outside button goes under the collar to here so you can see how far up there you can go and you can hook that on there like that so you're very well covered. One thing All right, another cool thing is they have leg straps. Let me back up so you can see those. You've got these straps on here. They go around. Again, same type of buttons. You can do that. So when you have everything else buttoned up, The coat doesn't fly apart or move away, it stays, stays close. Another thing is if, if it wasn't raining, like right now it's not really raining, a couple, a little bit of light drizzle, but let's say it had already been raining and you're warm around camp and you need a ground cloth. This would make a great ground cloth. Just lay it down. And there you go. Now you can do stuff. You can do your woodwork. You can build a fire or whatever. It makes a great ground cloth. And it's going to hold up to the moisture and the wetness on the ground. And uh, you're not going to be able to see this too well. But I'll show you the tag. Outback. And uh, like I said, this hood part here, or I guess it's like a little mini cape, you could take it completely off. Okay, you could take that off, and then you could just wear it without that. It just doesn't give you the extra protection on the shoulders like that. Again, you could leave the jacket on if it's cold and you need a little ground cover, you could take this and put it down and kneel on it. And that'll give you some protection to keep your pants dry. But anyway, it's just a great piece of gear. And I, I'm assuming that they originated it in Australia. Henceforth, the name Outback Duster. But anyway, now that I'm back inside the Fox Den, I'll give you a few more details on it. It's made by the Outback Trading Company, LTD, out of Oxford, Pennsylvania in the USA. So, this didn't come from Australia, but I think the concept of it may have. This one is model number 2042, the Low Rider Duster. Ah, here it does say, Outback, Genuine Australian Oil Skin Fabrics. Yeah, just a, a great piece of gear. I wanted to share with that, share that with you. Uh, I wore it earlier today when I took some things to the dump that had been sitting around and it was pouring down rain. But when it's a torrential downpour, I go to this Outback Lowrider Duster. And... Uh, just wanted to share that with you. Hope you guys are having a great week. Hope you're ready for the weekend. I know I am. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And until next time, keep calm, carry on, keep pumping, keep it outdoors.